Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Mario's Treasure Hunt. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, let's do Buzzy's Lava Cave, which I assume is full of Buzzy's Lava, and well, that's pretty much it. Oh, just to make this place look a little bit more dangerous, they added some bones from Link's Awakening. And put that in the walls. And swoopers are here, of course. Eh, I'm not gonna fall for that trap. Hopefully I did not need that shell, and I don't think I did. Okay, I don't recognize this track, though. I wish I did. I just hate not being in the know of what video game music I'm hearing. This level can be very dangerous because of all the lava. They don't call it a lava cave for nothing. Aww. What the hell? Okay, that worked. That too. Okay, let's see. I guess I have to keep going. Whoa, no, no! Pretend that never happened. Apparently those platforms sink. Then again, they look completely different. I had no idea at the time. Ah, friend sending me a text message showing me her new hair. Sorry, girl, you're gonna have to wait. Moving on. Video games take top priority right now. She'll understand. That's because I won't tell her. Anyways, moving on. Thank you. Now you can die. Haha, <laughs> double kill. Oh my god. We. Another double kill. Okay, well, given the shenanigans with the platform earlier that I sank into and died. This ain't bad. And now I realize that apparently I have to go all the way back to the beginning. Because I remember there was a pipe I could not reach before back at the beginning because the whole platform needed a spring to go up. I did not trust that jump. Sorry. Aww. He gets to live again. I am a failure to all the bat killers, killers out there. Oh well. If I can finish the level, then that's a bit of redemption. So far, I'm pretty close to the end, which is ironically back at the beginning. <laughs> okay, I'm almost there. Now I'm there. What's over this way? Oh, the other seven coin. I oh, had to play like the Chocobo theme from Final Fantasy. Nice. Okay, that level was not too bad. Okay, this one has a secret exit. Wasp attack. Okay, Donkey Kong Country 2 music. Okay, so there's gonna be like a lot of zingers everywhere. Unfortunately. But at least they have a pattern. I mean, that one goes in a circle. Okay, that's not where the key is. Hopefully I can find the secret exit first. Can I spin jump on these? Yes, you can. Good. Oh, I missed a trampoline. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Good, reserve mushroom. That did not take too long. It's too bad I don't have the means to kill these singers. I just had to focus on dodging them. One up? Cool. Hmm. Aha! 
So I found the secret exit already! By fluke, mind you, but I still found it. Where does this take me? Sewer Fort. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait till I finish this level completely. He thinks it's for the best. I don't even need this vine. I'll just grab these coins again. Just hope I can do better than I did last time when I took that stupid hit. There. I did. That was a dumb idea. I was a bit too impatient. I own up to that. In fact, I have no choice. I have to own up to it. Here, let me get that one up back. Wait, is there something to the right? Oh, just that coin. So I have to go up, it seems. I don't know why, but Mawo7 always seems to find a way to make a good hack. Him and Super Wee Dude are guys I can really rely on. Like Anakiti, FPI, you know, other hackers that I know, or that I don't know personally, but I've played their hacks before, and they are very good. Like, they're not the whole rookie kind of hack stuff. Sadly, I've played some pretty bad hacks in the past. You know, like standard Super Mario World levels, and all they did was add a few bullet bills, or just simple pitfalls, and that was it. Like, no real new levels or anything, just total laziness. But I mean, if we all played hacks, chances are we played those garbage hacks too. I'm not saying the guys that made them suck, it's just the hacks themselves could've used a lot of work. Granted, if they were starting off, I'd understand. Put a little bit of creativity into it, if you can, first. That's just my two cents. Which, unfortunately, in Canada won't be worth much, because the penny is going to be irrelevant soon. Then I'll have to start saying five cents. Well, was that a pot of gold or something? But yeah, to save money, we're going to be getting rid of the, getting rid of the penny. Everything will be rounded off in, like, five cents or ten cents. Yeah, it's strange, but we'll get used to it. Everrain Hills. You know what? I think I'm gonna go to that sewer fort after all. See where this leads. Hmm, some more Donkey Kong Country 1 music. Factory level, it seems. The hell is this thing? And this! It's like a one-eyed pokey! Some weird science is going on here, or pollution. Causing a whole lot of mutation in the Monty Moles and the pokies. What the hell is going on here? So I'll put you out of your misery. You too! Not that I needed to kill him, but oh well. Just less of a bother for me. That's right, I am selfish in Mario games. Deal with it. Uh, how am I gonna get to that trampoline? Ah, that's how. I was just wondering, I had to say state to double check. Well, I didn't really have to, but I did anyway. Like, I didn't know if there were going to be invisible platforms, or where they were going to materialize. But at least it's a non-factor. No! Too much stuff on screen! Move over there where I'm not scrolling. What the?! I jumped over it! He outsmarted me! Whoa! Crap. Now I need another mushroom. Badly. The background tiles, they look like something off a Metroid game. I could be wrong, but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm actually right. Oh, boss time. Mouser? Hey, you lost a bit of weight! Congratulations! You must be very proud! So 
Somewhat. Wait, did he just hurt himself? What a dumbass. Apparently he lost brain cells along with that. I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure that's not an actual Mouser. But he fights just like Mouser. Bombs standing around on a platform. And that's pretty much it. That's all he's doing. And now he's done for. Could the pollution given him cancer? That might explain why he got skinnier. Just a thought. Not exactly fact. I'll do the special level later. Ah, I remember Pallet Town. That's the theme I'm hearing now. So what is it about Everain Hills that's so great? recognize the music. So far it sounds pretty good. If you guys know the source, let me know. But at least I found the key already. I think I know now. Well, I might as well leave the key behind then. I know how to get to the secret exit now, which is good news. But I guess I'm guessing I have to get the normal exit first. Fair enough. Whoa, hoo -hoo, I almost didn't see that coming. feeling this theme should be used for, like, boss music or some kind of depressing event going on in a game. It just has that feel. Oh, I can stand on the clouds now! Cool. There, and I got another one up. That brings me up to 57. Jump for it! That's all. Well, there's a lot of rain. So it lived up to the hype. Wonderland. Say that for later. Alright, now let's get the secret exit. Which thankfully I know where it's to. Well, I knew where it was to the whole time. I just know how to get there. Without screwing it up. All I have to do is head for the pipe. Can I do it right on the first try, though? Ah, yes! That's what I had to do. I had to be fast. I think I could have used my head, too, but the key works. Now I can take this path! Home of Bugs? Uh, Wonderland or Home of Bugs? Which sounds more friendly? Oh, gee, I wonder. I should have went to Land of Bugs if it's gonna be like this. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is this? You mean even the mushroom can attack you? Okay, this is crazy. I'm pretty sure Mario did not envision this. Apparently these mushrooms cannot be killed. At least not with a spin jump. This is freaky. They kind of look like shrubs from Partners in Time. I don't know if they're exactly shrubs. So I remember shrubs being like purple. These are yellow. Then again, maybe there were yellow shrubs too. I I've played Partners in Time, but I've never finished it. Never went too far to see any different colored shrooms. Whoa, that was close. 
Aw, oh, damn. Should not have hit that yet. Guess I'm gonna miss out on a one-up. Hmm, this is a pretty dangerous level. There's a whole lot of stuff, and the corridors seem very narrow. Therefore, it can be very easy to get hurt. Or get lost. Sure, we can handle it. Whoa, I almost fell for that again. Ugh, had to be tricky. Does it go this way? Yeah, I think I go this way. Okay, nothing over there that's invisible. Yeah, you die now. Woohoo! Crap. Crap! Oh, no blocks. Man, there's a whole lot of coins you can get here, it seems. Okay, what the hell just happened? I just disappeared. That clearly was not supposed to happen. So that was quite a weird bug. Might want to make a note of that. That's also another bug! Note to self, never do that again. That should have been sealed off. Oh well, at least we got that out of the way. Okay, another secret exit level. Haunted Village. Okay, let me try making this symmetrical. Home of Bugs. Ah, uh, some Donkey Kong Country music, as usual. Okay, this looks like some kind of settlement. A whole lot of stone. I don't even think that's supposed to be a bug. It looks more like a snake. And it has like a stomach with eyes. Eyes at sea. I think they're eyes. It could be like legs? Maybe it's a caterpillar. And it's just like moving around on its ass and pointing its legs at me. It's possible. You never know. Like, why would a caterpillar be wearing sunglasses anyway? What makes him so cool? Eh, at least he's not wearing hipster glasses. That much we can be thankful for. Uh, this is a bug zone, Spike Top. You're not supposed to be here. There, that made things a little bit easier. Yup! Oh, let me get that. Okay, this level is not too difficult. Me losing my power up had nothing to do with the difficulty. Oh, hoo hoo. Crap! Double kill. Clutch. Oh, guess I'm gonna need a B-switch. I suppose it's over here, of course. Let's activate it later. Like around... Here. That way I have plenty of time. Well, let me take you for a ride. And now you are mine forever. Okay, this is Thwomp's building. It also has a secret exit. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, I'm gonna do one of these two levels. Goodbye.